It's Christmas time. Walking down the road, it's lovely to see the doors and windows glow with Christmas trees, twinkling stars. It's the most beautiful season where the wind is blowing with cold breeze, beautiful children singing carols, streamers of tinsel and satin balls, laughter that rings down the street with Santa distributing gifts and sweets. There is magic and love in the air. It's time not only for receiving gifts, but also it's the season of giving. It's time to bake our favorite plum cake. Along with the glee, glamour, the fiesta, it's time for Christmas carnival and the holiday season full of celebration. There is much more to Christmas that makes this festival more joyful. It is a spirit of giving. It's a spirit of peace, true friendship. It is the spirit of thoughtfulness and kindness. It is the spirit of having hope, goodwill and prayers for the well-being of the entire planet. This Christmas season, let's start our celebration with only positivity and spread only positive messages and thoughts. Presenting a true exemplary story of a pure soul, moralistic angelic friend of mine, Ritu Abraham. Ritu and me were besties in school from standard 3 to standard 10. She was very kind and we both were a part of NSS. When many of our common friends chose NCC, we both chose to be a part of NSS. As a part of NSS, I noticed a lot of divinity and divine qualities in my best friend Ritu. Especially when we visited the old age home at Coles Park, Bangalore. We just visited the old age home as a part of school activity with other schoolmates. But Ritu's visit every alternate day surprised us, especially surprised me. Ritu was a friend whose shoulders were always ready to cry on. Her soothing words had a healing touch. I needed it more when I lost my grandmother. She was also encouraging, enthusiastic and active in other school activities, including sports. She also had a great sense of humor. But not all her decisions in life was taken in humor. One such incident was in a moral philosophy class when our moral philosophy teacher, Sister Yester, asked us a question. It was a casual question, but a question where every teenager felt that was the hardest question and a question to ponder upon. I'm sure all of us were indecisive and very confused with this question because there were many options and a lot of choices on our mind. The question was, what do you want to be? What do you want to be? The answer was a conversation where our budding age was going to convert us to a flower. Most of us wanted to be a doctor, engineer, teacher, nurse, etc. etc. But Ritu's answer was unique. She wanted to join the missionary and do service. She was the only student in our class who was very sure and very clear about her dream of what she wanted to be. Well, things changed, so was our career option. But she never changed and she stuck to her dreams and did what she wanted. After standard 10th, both of us were in different colleges and we rarely met one another. After a decade, when I was getting married, I wanted to invite her. So, I visited a home at the Coastal Air of Bangalore. But unfortunately, I could not meet her, but met her loving parents, Abraham uncle and auntie. They blessed me and told me that Ritu was in a missionary in Calcutta following her dreams. Friends, influence matter. Right influences could make our life positive and wrong company does the opposite. For Ritu, her positive aunt transformed her life. Ritu's aunt was a nun working for Mother Teresa's missionary home at Kolkata. Ritu always felt that her aunt was the happiest content, richest lady, full of happiness and peace that no money could buy. From as a child, her aunt was her role model. Friends, though we experience many rough storms in our life, some valuable stories of our friends and their lives 
teach us lessons, positive lessons. Sometimes I try to look at life from her eyes with the glasses of her memories and my rough hard days gives me hope and different perspective to look at life, to have a larger dream and to have a larger mission. I am sure all of us have friends like Ritu who are the light of a candle. They are simple and small but it can light the entire room and remove darkness from our life. In a friend you find your second self. Cheers to God's glory to have glorious friends and positive friends like Ritu. Merry Christmas to one and all and may this Christmas bring only positive hopes and positive dreams. Merry Christmas.